yo 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 welcome to a- another ep- 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 episode of late night with nate and adrian i am your boy nate 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 gatherway god i'm adrian Redberg, <laughs> y'all what's good <laughs> <laughs> I can't only do that, but for so long, because that shit gets tiring. <laughs> but shout out to the day ones. Like, subscribe on all your podcast platforms. We are back. If you don't know what that was, you're going to find out uh, oh, soon enough. Boogie, how you feeling? We are back yet again. We we are back. That's hard to do. I I wouldn't even. I don't even want to f- try. It. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, rodeo, rodeo, yum 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 yum. Like and subscribe. Popcorn, popcorn. Mmm, <laughs> good. Mm, ice cream, ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> oh my gosh! Even when in that little bit of time that I was doing it, I'm like, yeah, there's no way. There is no way, but it is always a pleasure uh, to be back in the studio yes, sir. with your boogie. For those of you who are just tuning in, we get into the late night podcast that we sometimes shoot during the day. Again, shout out to all the day ones. Boogie, yes, sir. what is going on with you? Ooh, what isn't going on with me? Boy, I feel good. I um I signed up for a class pass. I feel like I did this. Uh I said this a while ago, but I re-signed up. I signed up again uh to a class pass so I can, you know, dabble in different, you know, workout classes, okay, yoga okay. and stuff like that. And I am proud to say that I've done Yeah, thank you so much. I've done two classes already, but I I the problem was I didn't space it out. So now <laughs> that that was a problem was back then. Now I do every other day. And in between okay. those days, I do my own little workout, you know, so. Got to get your it, rest in there. Right. Got to get my rest in, do a little small cardio workout. I, I'm still getting my walks in, but yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Granted, it's just the first week, but it only take. <laughs> It only take one week. You gotta you gotta start off with baby steps. So, hey yeah. man, you doing it? Plus, you know what they say: twenty one days. You know, to form a form habit. a habit. Yep. Oh, you doing it? And plus, yeah. you don't want to be one of those people uh, who tires themselves out quickly. You're like I'm in here, I'm in Quick here. Quick burnout. Yeah, and not not on my watch. Yeah, not on my back. watch. Yeah, I I got a I um the other day I got a massage. Okay. And you know they do a consultation before they actually touch you. And uh um, yeah, gotta ask you uh, <laughs> right <laughs> where your problem areas where your problem areas are and w- you know why did you come here for and all this other stuff and I told her you know as a re- former retired athlete okay you know, stunt you know, on them you know, <laughs> no let me stop playing uh, retired jersey out let here me, let me stop playing let me stop even though I got letters don't get it twisted I got letters from high school okay you know let them know. Don't, how many years of varsity how many years out don't, here don't do it to me okay how many years of varsity let them know um you know <laughs> it don't matter you were still out <laughs> there <laughs> no, so I did no I did two years of varsity because I I went to the freshman squad to the JV and then I did two years of varsity. And just so. moved on up, okay? Yeah. Out here, air bugs. Real quick, <laughs> but the point is, the massage therapist was like, "Do you have any problem areas?" I was like, "Everywhere." Fuck you, me. <laughs> like <laughs> this is why I'm in my thirties. Come on, right. <laughs> this is why I'm here. I was like, she was like, "What's really bothering you?" Everything, all bones, okay. <laughs> What are you talking about? I have to tell you. I circled the entire body. (laughs) Yeah. She was like, tell me where it hurts. All of it. You know what I mean? The whole paper. Right. Uh, Yeah. My family, we have like a number of, I have a number of family members who has RA and I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like I'm either they pass it on. Somebody (laughs) touched me or, you know, they tagged me in, but I'm feeling real. Achy myself. 
It's goddamn genetics, man. You yeah. know, that could be it. Or it could just be you're suffering from being in your mid thirties. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That could be it too. You know, I, I took a pack of water out uh from the, the trunk and I was like, Oh, I didn't live right. And now it's just yeah. like, you gotta be cognizant of the movements that you do nowadays. Now, you know, those little extra tweaks and spins <laughs> and stuff will affect you. You can sneeze wrong and throw off your whole day. <laughs> I cough. You ever had like a really hard cough or a hard sneeze? Yes. And your body like, what in the world? Uh uh-uh. I feel like uh, your your nose is in your chest after you have one of them, them hard yeah. sneezes. It's like, what? Yeah. It's, it's a factory reset. That's what it yeah. is. <laughs> Every time I feel yeah. like I have a hard ass sneeze because you get a little foggy up there. I'm like, oh, that's the reset. Like, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. Body got a reboot. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I tell everybody. I tell all of the youngest, enjoy it while, enjoy it now. Yeah. Enjoy your knees and just twerk, twerk while you can. Because when you get, <laughs> when you get into your thirties, mid thirties, the twerk slows down. It slows it, down. Yeah, it's you know. not really a twerk. It's a <laughs> it's a pump. Exactly, and and we all know what it is, and then it starts to move to that little old people shake. And I was like, okay, we the, even the people in the fifties, they have they special little little twerk, like the they all dance. have that little yeah, they do. little dance, and it, you yeah. just it's a transition. It's a smooth transition, and it's like you you got to stay in your lane because if you do a little bit too much, it's like ah, I'm not young anymore. You'll learn very quickly. You better start taking your glucosamine now. You better <laughs> Take, take those prune juice. What did they say? Prune juice, cranberry juice. Get some, what is it? Centrium? What was that yeah. vitamin? Gotta get some bones and joints. Uh, I'm like, yo, give me the fish oil, the pumpkin seed. Man. Give me uh, a multivitamin. They're like, sir, you're only 36. And I was like, I needs it. I needs <laughs> it. <laughs> you know what? The, it's, it's crazy when you're in the gym now because you're seeing the people uh, you see a lot of old people in there, and it's great that they're in there because yeah. you're like, hey, um, you you're, always got to stay active. You want to stay active so you can stay alive. But you yeah. also see the people who started a little too late, and you're like, let me do an extra mile while I'm in my 30s because mm-hmm. I ain't trying to be in my 40s or my 50s looking at my sneakers when I'm walking. Because you see some mm-hmm. people who be a little crouched over, and it's like, I don't want to be that person. A couple mm-hmm. more of these little back extensions, my back going to be straight when I'm 80. You know, just... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, your bones, your bones just, they they curl. They start to curl at a certain age. Not on my watch. It's and, like, you know, no. phone, <laughs> phone uh, fatigue and phone neck is a real thing. So y'all better I'm start. Oh, phone. I thought you said phone. phone. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, phone. Yeah. phone. Phone neck. <laughs> like, you better start. Y'all better start looking at your phones like this. So, you know. I, I won this little invention at uh at a holiday raffle. Uh, it was from TJ Maxx, you know, because you know okay. with them holiday raffles, don't spend over ten dollars. Okay. You know? So I won a phone carrying thing that you wear around your neck. Your neck. And uh-huh. The phone just sits there. Doesn't work. Doesn't work at all. It's it's all of all of worth the ten dollars that was spent on it. it doesn't okay. work because the phone won't sit in it. But I was like, hey, if this thing worked hands free just walking around phone there you can lay down it, it was it was got to be an inception point you know it was great when they thought about that it that sounds like the laziest thing that, <laughs> contraption hey, have you not seen me come on yeah, bugs I, I usually go for lazy it's like uh manual effort required i was like no yeah. where's lazy effort here anything that says you got to be put together i'm like how much to have you in the store put it together i'm that guy I, uh, that is me. I am that dude. If I got the extra money to pay you to, to put it together for convenience, why am I going to sit here for like two and a half hours and be cursing, bust my knuckles up, trying to put a grill together? Or I can just have you in the store put it together for me? Yeah. Come on, chief. They already paying you to do this anyways. You you ain't going to be helping nobody in plumbing anyways. You might as well put this grill together for me for the next two hours and then deliver it to the crib. <sighs> This guy here. Yeah, but that's <laughs> that's what's happening with me or whatever. What's going on with you? How was your week? Man, Boogie, it was it's been a good week. It's been it's been a good week. It's been uh slow, a lot of slow motion, which oh, I can't okay. complain about. 
I will absolutely uh, not complain. Not <laughs> wrong with slow it. motion. It's been um, it's been somewhat relaxing. Good. You know, I, I I was on the Amazon. You know, talked about it last week how uh, Prime didn't really do your boy. Wasn't boy dealing. Dirty. Right. <laughs> wasn't really giving you deals. So you know, I've been finding things to buy around the house. And I was like, huh, I don't like the cover on the outside furniture. Let me just go buy some other ones. Wait, you, know, you guys so- have a cover? Over yeah, yeah, you know, you gotta put, you gotta, gotta take oh. care of the outdoor furniture. Oh, outdoor. Yeah. Okay, yeah, outdoor. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 not not on the indoor furniture. There's no, no, no plastic covers over here. I was about to say, hey, we're gonna have to have a conversation, <laughs> Mike. Like, I think you're not at the age where you should be doing that. Just yet. I will, I will never ever be at that age. It will never be okay, a, a time where you'll ever be like, nah, we can't have game night at Nate's house. They got them hot ass slip covers on the furniture. Like, what you now. trying to preserve? <laughs> you trying to preserve the fabrics on your the 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 fibers on your <laughs> your couch like isn't that why you have a couch this is micro suede my guy you can't <laughs> you can't get that denim over here that's why oh, you gotta god. use them slip covers oh god no no everything over here is scotch guarded because when people coming over they might fall yeah. asleep with their oils go to walmart or target get your Just little scotch guard yeah and you, could, you know real quick Cause I'm messy. I, I'm not gonna lie. I can be. I could be a little messy sometimes. I could be. I could be a little uh, clumsy. You know. Mm. I, I I drink grape juice in places where you probably shouldn't be drinking grape juice. You know. So I was like, Ugh. let's let's scotch guard. You know. So, so if I do spill some cranberry or yeah. something that might be red, it just kind of runs off. So I'm like, boom. We good. We good. So. Bought a couple covers for <laughs> the outdoor yeah, furniture. Outdoor. Yeah. And what's crazy is sometimes you don't really you, you kind of underestimate how difficult it is to put those Assemble. covers yeah. and those things on there. And halfway through, I was like, you know what? These are these are a lot nicer, but I kind of could have just kept everything, you know, the way under that they were at one cover. So it's just like sometimes you just be buying stuff to buy it. But I do like going out there on the patio and just looking like ah, this looks nice. And ask me this, Boogie. Ask me this. Have I sat? I was going to say. <laughs> Go ahead. Ask me. Ask me. Have you sat outside since you've refreshed the outdoor furniture? I'll do you one better, Boogie. I haven't sat outside since that outdoor furniture was purchased at <laughs> the beginning of summer. Yeah. <laughs> And mind you, Boogie, I have told you, you'd be like, what you doing? Oh, I'm grilling. Uh, I'll be like, yeah, I've grilled like four or five times this summer. And walked your ass <laughs> right into <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, You ain't even enjoying the furniture that you bought up there. You grilled, did your thing, and <laughs> turned around and closed, and closed the door. Right Literally. inside. <laughs> Oh, you was like, well, I'm done. Let me go ahead. I'm go back and finish what I was doing inside the house. I have smoked the pork butt, which is a four or five hour process. Actually, longer than that. But I was like, oh, so you could have sat out here on this furniture. Nope. I was like, I'm going to go back in the house. I was like taking the covers off. And I was like, no, this is actually some nice furniture. I should sit yeah. out here more often. Nope. Cover this right back up. <laughs> And we're right back in the house. Wait, you assembled the furniture and then put the cover on yep. and then went back in the house. Didn't even sit yep. down, just went back in the house. Well, I sat in it to be like, yeah, yeah, this just is you know, yeah. this is comfortable. You know, yeah. I was like, we're gonna get a lot of <laughs> a lot you of enjoyment out of sitting yeah. outside. And yeah. nope. Bought a whole uh, what is it? I bought a portable um fire pit. You know, bought the little oh, but- butane. I yeah. went out boogie and I bought the little broken, the broken glass rocks, right? Or broken oh, glass. Yeah. Thirty dollars. I yeah. spent thirty dollars for the rocks to fill in this yeah. in this fire pit. Haven't cranked that fire pit. Not a once. Not <sighs> a once. Another Amazon buy, by the way. <laughs> Just- <laughs> I, at this point, we, you know, uh, as much as America will never say any of this, but I feel like universally, we all need to have an intervention on consuming <laughs> because right. the way, 
the way that people have bought a lot of ancillary non like non-essential things just because <laughs> it is accessible now the fact that we can get mattresses bed frames we can get we can get bunk beds by the click of a button and the next day it is a big ass box we can get couches in a big ass box from the next day in the next day people are going crazy and i just think i i honestly just think about the waste oh yeah that we have accumulated over the years <laughs> Two things that I think about, because from what you said, very, very, very valid points here. One, since we can get mattresses at the drop of a dime, why the hell is there a mattress firm on every oh, other God. corner in yeah. Chicago? <laughs> why, why are there why are, why are there mattress places open in the first place? You could just get a rolled up mattress in like 30 yeah. minutes. Why yeah. do we have those? Yeah. And two uh the amount of the amount of stuff that was purchased during uh the pandemic oh man yeah. we made bezos a billionaire yeah. 800 times over easily easily Sheen, and now yeah. timu which i will yeah. never buy anything yeah i will not be a timu of... consumer <laughs> timu, first of all i do I not like the name timu people and i had to check it, I had to check around and check a couple of videos to see how the how are they pronouncing this. Oh yeah, they are pronouncing this T move. It's it was the weirdest thing because I went to Eastern Michigan uh, University and it's EMU and I was like, what? The, when I see it, when I see you, I'm like, what the heck is this? And yeah. like, it's, I was like, is this something from the school? And they was like, they was like, no, this is a quote. I'm like, no, I'm like what are y'all doing? Yeah, you know, and I was like. Yeah. I'm just waiting for them to be like, yeah, Timu has been in an international credit card scam. I'm just, yep. I'm just waiting, waiting for that to happen. But on on Amazon, yeah, they should have something like you know how you can save it for later. Yeah. They should have something where it's like, nigga, you ain't never gonna use this. That should be, <laughs> <laughs> that should be. But they won't. That should be a section there because it's gonna be like you're never going to like. It should be like a section for like, uh, they should be able to review like one and done. Use this once, never went back to it. Yeah, that should be a section on Amazon. Like, hey, if you're thinking about using this once and never trying it again, seven ninety nine and below. Are you sure you want to buy this? <laughs> <laughs> I bought like a watch kit to take the backs off my watches to go. I'm, I'm going to change my own batteries. Dumb, just dumb. Because <laughs> one of my watches, <laughs> I have to take it back to the jewelry store because Movado. They're just like, you know what? We're gonna stop you goofies from trying yeah. to to replace to replace the, these batteries. Yeah. So we're gonna force you to have to uh buy a seventy dollar battery. And I'm just like, I hate y'all. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. <sighs> yeah, I'm so, just trying yeah. not to I you know, I've been a part of the I'm consumer biased. the consumer craze, but I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I, I I've been trying to Marie Kondo <laughs> myself and just be a little bit more conscious because uh, all the amount of clothes that I've purchased so far uh, already I've I definitely have three or four pairs of the same shit <laughs> <laughs> it's my go-to <laughs> where I'm like at this point you need to stop like we just we just we just gotta let go how many pairs of the same jeans are you gonna buy yeah. Yeah. But I mean, when you find something, but for certain things, though, that's OK. Jeans, certain shirts. No, I, uh, no. My whole thing is this is what this is how I used to do. OK. When I used to when I used to run my shoes raggedy, raggedy. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, I, I remember I had these Air Maxes. I had a pair of Air Maxes and I love these Air Maxes. These were my. I'm going to walk everywhere with. You know, you got a pair of shoes that you just. I'm walking, I'm walking. Yeah. Those shoes. Yeah. <laughs> those, <laughs> those shoes. And then, you know, there's been moments where my mom, my partner at the time, my boo at the time used to be like, hey, yo, it's, <laughs> it's, it's time. You know, they used to give me that tap. Like, we need to let these go. You got them leaning Uggs. <laughs> Is that what you say? <laughs> 
but but that gave me uh. that, that was like okay now i can replace them with some new air maxes so i toss my air maxes because i use them I, yeah to the Boy, point did of you. yeah to the point of no return but but that's just how i that's how i there's nothing wrong with that but the, but then you also you also have to sprinkle in a couple you know a couple shoes that you know you wear sparingly here and <laughs> you there. never know you you just yeah. you never know you never know you be like hey, i got a shirt that'll match them shoes at home yeah. so it's like hey but it you shouldn't know. you shouldn't go over a certain amount this is also true that's too. just that's just my that's a, my thought process this is true you know what it is the more space you have that's the the more you're inclined to fill to it fill it stuff. up yeah that's what it is so you go out here and get a mega mansion that has like 15 closets you're gonna fill all 15 <laughs> with stuff you don't need well, I ain't got to worry about having a mega mansion because all my money going to be spent <laughs> on the shit that I'm going to spend on gonna... Timu. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. <laughs> Shockingly, Bugs. Uh, it's, like I said, it's been a good week. So I got yeah. no no grinding of, of the Same. years. Nothing has pissed your boy off at I'm all. I'm happy to hear that. But Boogie, it's sure. time to get to the tipping of the hat. For those of you who are new to the podcast, this is the segment we like to tip the hat to people who are doing dope things in the community. Yeah. I'm tipping my hat. Tipping the hat. So who you got this week, Bugs? I'm going to tip to Jamie Foxx um, just because of all the stories that we've heard. We know that he got he had a, an incident, a medical emergency, and... It's been a while since we actually heard from him about updates and stuff. And we've been hearing, you know, updates uh, from news outlets. But, you know, Jamie Foxx recently went on his IG and went on socials to actually give the the people a really heartfelt video and just said, like, man, I went to hell and back. I want to thank everybody for all their love and well wishes. And, you know, he... He also mentioned that his daughter and his sister saved his life and really helped him, you know, get back. Yeah, he's still recovering, but he is so much better. And, you know, he also made a joke um, the way that he does in between the video. And I'm I'm, you know, seeing the video just made me feel like, man, I this is the team that I want. I want a team like his where I what regardless of what happens, right. everyone is so tight lipped. And it, you know, they're granted his daughter did come out just to clear out, clear up some outlandish rumors, you know, uh, that he Man. was, yeah, really outlandish rumors that he was, you know, nearing his deathbed. And that was far, you know, obviously the actual right. issue at hand. But I, I really appreciate like his team and him just coming out and it's like, I don't got to share this with y'all. I ain't had to give y'all no update. I could have kept living my life, but because Jamie is Jamie, he's for the people. <laughs> and he made it a point to just, you know, take a, take a quick, you know, three minutes. He got a little emotional. He was like, I ain't want to cry, but it, it seemed authentic. <laughs> y'all, man. Right. You know, it seemed, it seemed authentic. So, yeah, granted, he's an actor, <laughs> a, a triple threat, a quadruple threat. But, you know, it felt genuine. So shout out to Jamie. Definitely. Uh, I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy it came from him. Yeah. Because you know, boy, oh boy, I, was, I don't want to hear nothing about Jamie unless yeah. it's coming from Jamie. So I'm definitely yeah. glad uh, that he was able to let people know he's OK. But it couldn't have been me, though. Couldn't be me though, cause I'd have been like, I'm not a clone, nigga. Bye. <laughs> yeah, that's all. That's all y'all would have got. Um, I feel like it's kind of we're getting to a point where it's very annoying where people feel like uh other people owe them an explanation. Yeah. They're deserving of a response. Of of, yeah, what's going on? And I'm yeah. like, yo, chill out. I was like, cause I remember a time when you didn't know nothing about. No, uh, not a celebrity, me, celebs, not a, yeah, or just even our regular lives. You didn't know what we know now, yeah. Um, and no one just because you've bought a movie ticket or we support Andrew, we fans, we love you. They don't owe you anything. Like they don't owe you outside of thank you for the support. I don't owe you That's my it. health report, my life. <laughs> like, yeah. come on, y'all. Like, Update relax. Status. Yeah, agreed. Like, chill out. 
<laughs> quite irritating. Yeah. <laughs> but um yeah, but I'm definitely happy that uh that he, he is he's all well and leave that man alone. Just leave him alone. Let him go about doing his business because y'all yep. all outside of the paparazzi, you know, they got a job to do, but y'all civilians, leave the man alone. Like yeah. he, he out and about at top golf, all his, leave him alone. Cause you know yeah. what's gonna happen? That he's gonna go back inside and then y'all gonna be back to making up these dumbass conspiracy theories yeah. again. So just stop it. See what happened was right. <laughs> he was outside, but now he's inside. <laughs> right. That ain't Jamie. That's the man that was playing his double in the other movie. That's Tyrone's clone. Right. <laughs> uh-uh. like, come on, bro. Agreed. <laughs> Chill out. Yeah, who you got for your tipping? I am tipping. Um, I had to uh, my favorite rapper. Come on, man, y'all y'all know uh, what it is here. Got to drop a bomb uh, for Nazir Jones and Hitman uh, Hit Boy. They dropped. Uh, I said Hitman Hit Boy <laughs> dropped their uh, fifth collab, Magic Two, and man, oh fifth man, collab. This is a fifth one. Man, yeah, I didn't know that. It's a fifth uh, studio collab, Magic Two, and per usual. Uh, the, the man is just spitting and the beats are fire. It is so dope to All see right. it uh, yet again. Another classic. Um, okay. He just keeps getting better and better. You know, where some people are retiring when they're getting into um, their 40s and some people yeah. should have been long retired. He's just he's finally uh, not finally because he's always put out quality projects, but it's just yeah. like, man, you are really in your bag. You it and feels good. Boy. And mm-hmm. it's like when you find that one producer, it's like stick with him. It's kind of like um, Twenty One Savage and Metro Boomin. It's like yeah, they're not ever going to part ways. Your Timberland or uh, what's his name? Uh, Jamie Fox. It's not. I mean, uh, Lizzie. Timberland <laughs> and uh, uh, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. No, remember when? No offense, but rem- uh, not to get off topic. Timberland and Justin Timberlake. We used to be a collab yeah. all the time, and then Justin decided to go and do an album with without him, and, and it was sucked. it was garbage. Was that and Man so, in the Fire, Man in the Woods? Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I was like, nah. Everybody was like, yeah, bring back, <laughs> bring bring back Timberland because yeah. it, it was it was terrible. But yeah, shout out to uh, Nas and Hip Boy from Magic. Uh, to- oh man, that's what's up. Kudos to them. Boogie! Let's get to uh, the first ad and we'll be back for news you can or can't use. Let's. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm just over here polishing up my black watch. A lot of y'all know I'm an avid collector of watches. I got at least nine of them things in my collection. And the one that I get the most compliments on has got to be my black watch. I got to tell y'all. Black watches, they have really put a lot of time and detail into their product. I gotta tell you, from the watch face all the way down to, to the band made of genuine leather. I know it's genuine, but I like seeing genuine. They really have outdone themselves. So, fellas, ladies, if you're looking to upgrade your watch style, definitely check out the good folks over there at Black Watches. They black owned. You know you want to support a black owned watch company. And because, you know, they rocking with the podcast, they, you know, hooked you guys up with a promo code. That's right, a promo code. They give you 20% off of your order when you head over to blackwatches.com. That's right, blackwatches.com, B-L-A-K, watches.com. And make sure you use that promo code, late night, WNA. Come on, support the Black Watches. Now back to the podcast. All right, first up for news you can or can't use. Boogie! She lied. <laughs> she lied. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? Learn something from this. Like, uh, uh, like, and I got on here and I was like, don't y'all come over here with them conspiracy theories. Let's just let it all play out. Well, Boogie, it appears it has kind of all played out. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna let you go first on this one, Boogs. I mean, okay. Uh, if you have, if you've been living under a rock, then you, God, 
you must have heard that now the Hoover Police Department uh, has finished their investigation and have concluded. And this gentleman here, uh, the 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 of the police department with his purple Very sharp dressed, yeah, but, but colorful outfit <laughs> decided to to come out. And he was very, he was very reserved and he, he was very, uh, monotone and mild mannered. And he just came out and was like, yeah, we've done all this investigation and we have concluded that we have found no evidence (laughs) (laughs) of it being a baby of her being abducted. Uh, God, I, you know what? I I want more. I need I need more <laughs> information. So why? Now they you know they also said that going through her search history on her laptop that she also was looking up taken uh taken into, two t- excuse me taken two <laughs> not taken one the original one that dare I say is the best one because you can't do a taken two because it's gonna be the one. same thing <laughs> without <laughs> taking one. They had five I, of them things, though. Just yeah, they did have five. Throw takings. that out there. <laughs> yeah, they did. Liam was getting that that bag off them taken. Dare I say, are they going to do like a a, a Fast uh, and the Furious Taken Ten? Oh uh, <laughs> God, I I just feel bad because as uh, much as she, you know, there's evidence that she was tweeting that she enjoyed that movie, and I I just want I, I want. She, <sighs> I know this will never happen. She will never come out and just blatantly explain why she did <laughs> such thing. And you know, her boyfriend and everybody was defending her, helping her. Uh, everybody but her daddy. He yeah, was her, tight lip. Yeah, he didn't say anything. Because <laughs> he, knew, he knew what it was. He knew his daughter. But the point is, why did you do this? For what? Now, now you lost your job. If you heard that she got yeah. fired from her spa job, um, and you know, thank God, you know, thank God she could switch up her wigs here and there, but you know, <laughs> to change her appearance. But everybody knows who you are, girl, yeah. baby girl. So it's gonna be tough for you in the coming future. So I wish the best, mm. and <laughs> I hope you don't get jail time for wasting the city's money. Yeah, um, this is one of those ones where uh, she's gonna have to ride this storm out, ride yeah. it out. Yeah, uh, I guarantee a uh, lifetime is gonna hit her up in like five, ten years of with course. a bag to, to get this sell story. her rights. Yeah, uh, Netflix, <clears throat> one of them is gonna be like, Yo, here you go. Um, this is one of those situations where I agree with you, I'm just kind of like, Why? Um, but also I'm still under the inkling of what if something did happen? Mm-hmm. Although I know that she did look up, you know, okay, you looked up taken to, you know, uh, you did look up how much does it cost for an Amber alert or some of those things. I'm like, you're 25. Uh, you just missing at that point. <laughs> <laughs> it's there's they don't do amber alerts for adults. I'm like, baby girl, how long have you been on this planet? You've never oh, seen God. an amber alert for an adult. It's just like, come on. Oh, um and then in the notion of of thinking you had to pay for an amber alert, there'd be a yeah. lot of people out here like, yeah, I ain't got it. So little Johnny just gonna be missing. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put up a photo and put it across the neighborhood before I pay for an Amber Alert. Um, it's one of <sighs> where I think it was because of what we know with a lot of black women not being looked for. Yeah, like she thought no one was going to actually look for her or <clears throat> or put as much effort into it. I'm gonna go as, as even far as to say they weren't looking for her. They mm. were that baby. Mm. I, there was so much um, outcry for it. I saw a lot of black people posting. Mm-hmm. Her. Didn't see a lot of white celebrities posting about her. I'm sure mm-hmm. maybe in the community, because they said it, a lot of people in the community, so there probably white people that were there that were posting. I'm not in her community, so I can't speak on that. Mm. Just on my timelines, I didn't see a whole lot of white people posting. <clears throat> 
not to say that they didn't, but I didn't see it. So it's one of those situations where I'm thinking maybe she was like, uh, you're not really going to look for me. That's one possibility. Other possibility, like we said last week, just maybe, maybe the kidnappers were like, hmm, let's too much uh, heat. Yeah, too much heat. Because normally, when a black woman goes missing, you don't hear a whole lot about it. Nope. If that were the case, there wouldn't still be 13,000 black women missing out here. Yeah. We're just going to throw that out there. Yep. <clears throat> so I feel like some of, some of that is into play there. Again, it goes back to why would you do this? Yeah. Um, and that's where. I look at it as like there might be something wrong with her mentally. Mm. What are you running away from? Some because challenges. Yeah. To go through these lengths to create a story like this, you you try to get away from something. You don't just come out the blue and be like, "How do I disappear?" Taken two. That just it doesn't work that way. Well, there there is a theory, uh, and I hate dangling it out here. Right, Conspiracy there is a theory corner. that she was trying to get her man's back, and that's what Terrible way to do it led her to do such things. I just, I you know, I just want everyone to understand that this shouldn't discourage anyone to thinking that when people, especially black women, are missing, that it is. Fugazi. This is oh, <laughs> this is an exception. This is not the norm. And not at all. yeah, and I just, I, yeah, I I'm more concerned about the future of when there are Amber Alerts or missing women out here. Because <laughs> I people it, alert. <laughs> yeah, grown grown people. <laughs> grown people alert that's where my concern is okay so this is was just a scandal this was a scandal yeah. that we can get past but i'm i'm glad to see that when oh god when when black women are missing we are we jumped and we very glad to were see all very much was on alert and was sharing um, i'm just talking about on all socials it was yeah it was good to see that we are coming together as a community to try and help Black folks united. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Help, help one person. Cause it only takes one person. So, you know what? We'll look at this as like a fire drill. That's what this uh, was. This was okay. like a false this alarm fire drill. A, yeah. So yeah. now we know what to do when there yeah. is like actual a real event. Cause let's be real now. Let's not act like a couple of years ago they weren't using women and children mm-hmm. to actually kidnap people. Mm-hmm. They were doing that. So <laughs> let's not go out here and and people you still need to err on caution. Yeah. Because some of that stuff still does happen. I think one of the most irritating things for me with the situation was so many see I told y'all she was mine and all that just I was right okay what do you get out of that yeah what are you getting from you being right on social media yep. that she was lying like there's no there's no prize you ain't get no nope. cookie and there's no pizza party for you for yep. you doing that and also these people <clears throat> excuse me who um she needs to go to jail time she needs to have jail time why what what is the purpose from that? If she really is going through something mentally, jail is not the place where she's going to get help at. Not at so all. So what is the point of doing that? And I'm just gonna throw this out here because frequently you see it online. People from other cultures, you don't see people from other cultures doing this stuff. Mm. We do. There's been several white women who have lied and made false reports on numerous occasions. Mm-hmm. You can Google it. And nine times out of ten, those women do not go to jail. Nothing happens to them. Mm-hmm. Nothing at all happens to them. And I dare I even say this when they have GoFundMes and all these things. Do y'all even inquire about whether these people even give the money back? This stuff just it all just disappears. Mm. But now when it is a black woman, she got to go to jail. She got to do all this stuff. I was like, why do y'all, why do y'all want to see another black person thrown in jail so quickly? Like, I just don't understand it. Help her get the help that she needs. Now, I will say this: any type of monies that were collected yeah, from mm-hmm. GoFundMe's, do the right thing. Get the money back. Like, yeah. come on, do do the right thing in that regard. In regards to the whole, we need to hear from her. 
it's clear she's going through something. Give her the privacy that mm-hmm. she needs. You don't need to hear anything from her. Let's just be happy that she is safe. Mm-hmm. She's back home because if she really is going through something mentally to create a situation like that, she could have hurt herself. Mm-hmm. So let's just be happy that that she's she's back home. Don't do it again, though. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> one and done for us, buddy. <laughs> just just don't do it again. And all those goofies out here, I ain't praying no more. I ain't doing any of this stuff. I'm not, I'm not doing you. Your heart wasn't in it in the first place. Your heart was not in it in the first place. And all those people <sighs> who are out here saying, well, this is going to ruin it for the next black person who gets adult napped or whatever, or the next p- person. No, it's not. It's not going to affect them like that. You know why? Because if that were the case, there wouldn't be 13,000 black women who are still missing right now. They're not looking for you. So if, if that were the case, if you sit up here and say this one person is ruining it, ruining it. So that way we'll never take any black women. If that were the case, there wouldn't be people being snatched up right now. They're snatching black women. Why? Because they know they're not looking for y'all. Let's use common sense here, y'all, and stop using dumbass white talking points here. Because if that were the case, all these white women who still make false reports, they're still believed every single time. No one person has gone out here and saying, I can't believe Rachel because Becky Sue over here lied about the situation. They're still believing them. They're still doing their investigation that they have to do. Like, come on, y'all. Stop being stupid. Man, sit your dumb ass down. Like, stop it. I'm done. <laughs> Boy, it was, it was on it. Okay. <laughs> Had to get off of let me get off the soapbox because it was just just seeing all that stuff and I was like, man, y'all can't be this stupid. But people are, so you have to you have to remember that common sense ain't common for a lot of people. So it's like you corny as hell to be like, I'm never gonna believe a black woman again because one black woman uh, lied about this, and and we're the same people who are always like, we know the money live. And just because this one black person over here do something stupid, that ain't me. Like, but but you but you want to use that when it's this situation. Yeah, I just hope she I hope she gets the help she needs. And you know, as much as we just we just talked about Jamie Foxx, we go we gonna need to know what's what's (laughs) going on. You know, I mean in due time, in due time. Yeah, in due time. I don't want her to get jammed up. Because if, if what I think is going to happen here, because everybody says she needs to go to jail, she yeah. needs, if she doesn't go to jail, yeah. they're going to make her pay restitution. They're of going course. to make her pay because, like you said earlier, she did. They did use resources, a lot of resources to go out there and look for you. Yeah. So they're going to hit you. You're going to get a bill. Yeah. I mean, that's what I hate to do this, but that's <laughs> what they did to Jesse Smollett. So and honestly, what's worse? going to jail or having a bill that you probably can't pay was worse because they're gonna garnish you gonna garnish your checks because you can't work so being because no one is going to hire you because they're gonna be i can't trust you so every so when you called off was you really sick or was you was you going on a little joyride again (laughs) you know so was you out here playing in the woods like what is going on here stop it i'm just saying so it's like <sighs> she's got I already got a hard enough road ahead of yeah. her. So yeah. why are we why are we put why are we throwing her in jail? Why are we doing this? Why are we <sighs> adding on top of what alleged mental anguish she's probably already going through? Yeah. You know. I hope everything works out for her though. Yeah, me too. Let's get this next ad. <laughs> no transitions. <laughs> oh God. Hey y'all, we're gonna take a quick pause from this episode to tell you about our next sponsor, Rose Vogue Styling. Let Rose Vogue Styling help you change the way you see yourself. Their mission is to empower you to build your confidence and look fly while doing it. Mm. They offer personal styling, shopping, and closet auditing. They need to come to my closet because it's a hot ass mess, okay? They also have an online boutique store full of pieces that will give your outfit life and have you looking right. Pieces like earrings, that's what I have on now, here, right here, necklaces, purses, rings just to name a few okay right now our subscribers our listeners our watchers you 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 can get 20 percent off when you use the code late night okay l-a-t-e 
N I T E. Go on over to their IG. It's Rose Vogue Styling at Rose Vogue Styling. Um, easy. Everybody knows that. Okay. Let Rose Vogue Styling style you for your next event or simply just help you enhance the pieces that you already have in your closet. Wow. Style is a choice. Upgrade yours with Rose Vogue Styling. Again, you can get 20% off if you use our code late night. Okay. L A T E N I T E. Support a black business. Okay. Support us. When you support them, you're supporting us. Okay. Now let's get back to the show. Man, top number two is uh, sad uh, on a lot of levels. Um, but. I don't know. It's also one of those um, those stories about uh, knowing where where you're traveling at. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tierra Allen, better known to her 182,000 followers as the sassy trucker, has been stuck in uh, Dubai for looks like more than two months now. Mm. It says the uh, Houston social media star uh, claims lost them from screaming uh, at a clerk at a rental car shop. Uh, her credit cards, debit cards, cell phone were impounded after an accident took place uh, in one of the rental cars. It says the manager was demanding money in exchange uh, for their possessions when things got a little hostile. Uh, he followed them outside the office. Uh, they felt intimidated. He screamed at her and then she screamed back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, upon that, uh, they said police uh, arrived and confiscated her passport. And uh, they arrested her. Um, a lot of people know Dubai has some of the uh, strictest laws in the country, especially when it comes to uh, women. Um, you know, um, very restrictive in some ways to people who are from what is the Western world. Mm. Um where I know a lot of ladies, when you go there, you do have to wear, uh, you have to cover up. Mm-hmm. Uh, even American women, have, you, everyone has to cover up when you're going into you know, certain temples, certain mm-hmm. areas, certain things. Um, you have to follow their rules. And this is a case of, you need to know where you're, you need to know the laws of the land of where mm-hmm. you're traveling at. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> You can turn up on people here in the states. You mm-hmm. can damn near uh, do whatever outside of getting um, violent with a person. Uh, not a lot's gonna happen to you. Another country um, can't do that, especially uh, Dubai, when women are looked at as what second class citizens. Um, you can't do that. You you just can't act like an American in some of these places even when you go even the places that are less restricted let's say like over in the uk some of those places you go uh to, to italy um even asian countries even as men you got to be careful in some of these mm-hmm. places i'm an american a lot of places don't like americans you know it's just it's a sad situation uh, it's, it's very unfortunate mm-hmm. uh, i hope they can get her out <clears throat> yeah there are definitely more countries uh than not Th- that aren't too fond of Americans <laughs> and within reason because we have and and I'm not okay some Americans have this yeah. entitled <laughs> entitled aura about <laughs> us like I don't again I don't know why when you go Burr. into yeah when you go into places that aren't yours you should have a more reserved attitude about how you move around there because is she traveling she's she's not tr- she was traveling by herself right she's with a friend okay and okay so she's traveling by herself with a friend who's also a woman too when you go yes. to these countries where women you know rules they they don't have as much access in i would say um privilege that's the word that i should say uh privileges like a lot of men do um in those countries you have to be careful absolutely zero (laughs) that you just have to be careful that's just what it comes down to so i would have hired a driver i would have 
I would have done anything and everything for countries like that. I'm on high alert already. That's just how I am. I'm already, yeah, I'm already on high alert anyway, because you're a, a woman outside of your comfort zone. And you're black. And you're black. <laughs> so yeah. it's it's already that. It's also um because you know a lot of people would like to try to travel with, with yeah. Eddie's and yeah. you know, Dubai yeah. is one of them countries nope. where um you will not where catch you me. definitely you you cannot mess around in uh in Dubai when it comes to drugs, even alcohol. Like mm-hmm. it is there's certain certain places Areas. in Dubai yeah. where it's like okay, you can you can yeah. drink and those things, but it's like, nah, man, this is not that type of place. And I hear I hear it's very nice, it's it's, it's an amazing place, but honestly, it is not some place where I'm just like, uh, I really want to go to go. Yeah. It's <clears throat> For that, for the the amount of money it costs to get over there, mm-hmm. there's other countries or other experiences that I would rather have that I don't have to worry about me getting jammed up. Mm-hmm. I don't have to worry about my lady getting jammed up. If I go with a group of people, I don't have to worry about any of them getting jammed up. Mm-hmm. So it's like let's just let's just avoid. And it's not saying that I'm gonna be over in these places doing things that will get me caught up, but. Right. As simple as something as simple as because we know look, let's let's just let's not act like we don't know what this is here. Let's not act like I'm renting a car, there's an accident, you already have my credit card, you have all my information here. Let's not act like you're not trying to hold my my items hostage here. Because we we know what this was a, this was a stick up. I guarantee if there was a man with them. They probably would not have went. It wouldn't have went down that way. No, it wouldn't. Have. I guarantee it would have been like, okay, we're gonna charge your credit card this or insurance or whatever. Here are your items. Go on about your day. Homie was trying to stick them up. Get over. Yeah, I'm about to get an extra two, three hundred out of you or whatever the situation is. And obviously, no one is gonna want to be taken advantage of. Sis just turned up at the wrong place. Yeah, I'm all for if you're in the right. Turn up. Let somebody have it. Unload the clip on them. But you also got to be able to read the room yeah. and read the country. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to uh, know. God. Read gotta the know, country. I know where you at, baby girl. Because this is just one of those things where. Yeah, that it's it's hard. It's hard because there's so many variables that you have to take into consideration. And it's hard. You know, I implore you know all women to travel solo but you have to do the research you have to do the research in order for you to ensure that your safety is okay is intact and and you know it, it it's it's just sad and i hope they can get her out over something petty as as a, a an accident um yeah i agree so. I, I just I just want the narrative to change. There's a lot of people who are per usual. They even know what you're doing. Blah, blah. And I was like, bro, yeah. it's not that. This is yeah. not one of those. Obviously, they don't like black people out of these countries, but it ain't. It's it's also. I mean, that's that's a portion of it. He's American, and they treat women like second class citizens in these countries. You can't raise your voice over there. So it's mm-hmm. like, let's not. The narratives have to change. The narrative is has got to be: look, you have to like you. You have to educate yourself on the laws of the land. Anytime I travel, because look, you know me, I love to indulge. Mm-hmm. I love to indulge, not to the point where I can't go a week or two weeks without indulging. But I also look like, look, I'm not trying to get jammed up in no airport or mm-hmm. any of those things. Let me look and see where if I do bring an Eddie or if I do bring something with me, if it makes am I gonna sense. be okay right. in this country? Mm-hmm. Is anything going to happen to me? Because ain't nothing worse than getting locked up for drugs in a whole other country. And like, come on, y'all, yeah, nothing worse that, than that. That won't be me. There's there's been <laughs> moments where I told myself I was going to bring it, and then I did. I forget to bring it, and I'm like, man, I think that was me telling myself, <laughs> you don't need to do that right now. Good decision. So, there's was, alcohol. Yeah. What's one vice to another vice? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Just gotta take a little bit longer to get there off the booze than you do off of off the weed. But you yeah. gotta be careful, man. What Martin say in um uh, Blue Street, 
Don't nobody want to go to jail in Mexico. Putting all <laughs> types of burritos up your ass. So it's like it's the same concept. I always yeah. think about that. Like I watch Locked Up Abroad, and I'm like, nah, I'm not built for. I'm not built for jail in the states. So I damn sure ain't built for jail overseas. Yeah, like come on, bro. It's hard. So, but I do hope she gets out. Though. Yeah, I hope she gets out. Um, and this is a lesson to be learned. Like, learn these lessons from other people's uh <laughs> mistakes. Hope did that, so hopefully you won't have to go do that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Boogie. Yes, it is time for my favorite segment. Y'all niggas is tripping. Well, maybe. Is it? Is it though? <laughs> is it though? I, my God. <laughs> you know, I hit the button, and sometimes the button just don't be buttoning. <laughs> this man, he said, button be buttons, but buttons don't be buttoning. Okay. Yo, who you got for your niggas? Uh, my your niggas is tripping has got to go to the assistant manager of a Burger King who allegedly was on cameras being seen picking up fries from the trash and serving it to patrons um i'm sorry what what is happening right now (laughs) at this point i feel like i don't trust nobody with my food at this point i i don't like okay Cook your own food. At this point, I feel like everybody should be cooking, cooking their own food. Like, who is there to be trusted? It's it's hard out here in these streets. I, I don't care what somebody did with you, did to you. Take care of, t- take care of your waste staff. Take care of, of, of the people that are working. These are just regular people that just happen to have a job for xyz you know doing whatever and now you got booty juice <laughs> in your, in your front. Said, you know, can't trust us who can't trust <laughs> oh my god I, I like you know i don't want to go into detail put a put her out there but i just feel like it is it's time to 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 let it go like can we stop i mean it, granted this was in south carolina Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> she she has been arrested, and she's been she's been allegedly serving multiple customers. I was gonna say this is not her first time doing this. Okay. This multiple, ain't her first rodeo. Yeah, multiple multiple customers. I I just don't food tampering always rubs me the wrong way. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's let's do better. She's on bond right now, set at <laughs> twenty thousand, which ain't nothing. No, no, she can, really she not. can do that, but we, we ah, come on, y'all. We got to do better. You we got to do better. I just want to know what is the level that you have to get to of just being pissed off to do that? And then to multiple people, like, what was it? Was someone complaining like you didn't put you didn't put cheese on a whopper? Like, what was it? Like, what was the ticking point? I really, I really want to know because. You know, we all have that level where we're like, okay, I'm boiling, like I'm fuming here, like I'm seeing red. What what is that level where she's like, up oh, fries in the trash? Like this is what you get. And like I, I just I really want to know because I don't want to push anyone to that yeah. point. That fast yeah, so it, it it's okay. It's it definitely says that it's still unclear what motivated her to do um, what she's been <laughs> allegedly accused of, um, but she did it clearly because. Uh, they they have she's been doing this multiple times and they have actual video of her doing this and I just I just want her to get her act together and I want everybody to just be a little bit more nicer to everybody everybody yeah. waste staff fast food joints just just everybody just be nice just be cool the nicest people you should be to are to the people who are handling your food yes. Those are just the nicest if there's anyone to yeah kiss ass to suck up a little bit more it should be the person that's bringing you your food I don't, yeah i just don't understand that like just be a regular person like how would you like to be treated when your food <laughs> is handled in somebody else's hands that's all i'm saying that's all it's i want people to do borderline i feel like one why are you still eating that burger game 
Because I, I got like a raw burger at Burger oh, King once, God. and I was like, I'm not coming here anymore. And I'm like, how do you give me a raw burger when you <laughs> you got to put it on the conveyor belt? Yeah, I was just like, oh, it's halfway done. Let's pull it off. Pull it out. Like, I'm just, I'm really trying uh, to stop eating there. Just, just cut it out. Stop going to <sighs> to the BK and and everything. Just, just cut it out. Ugh. Who you got for your niggas to strip? Uh, my young niggas is tripping is going to uh, Jordan Poole's dad because man oh man is Anthony Poole mad about that situation that happened uh, months ago between Draymond and his son I'm sure a lot of y'all remember you know they got into a little beef mm-hmm. and uh, Draymond duffed him uh, in practice and the video got out he said I stand on this this is some BS JP was his guy he and he avoided me all last year. He's a soft ass biatch, and I'm standing on this. And he didn't apologize to me and my wife, so he lame. And me and him can meet anytime he wants. <clears throat> What's crazy about this is it's almost as if he didn't pay attention to the press conference that Draymond Green had. Where he literally said, I imagine how my mom would feel. And I imagine how, how Jordan's mom and his dad and his people felt. And I apologize. Sir, that's the apology. Yeah. Like, if, if you thought he was going to walk up to you and be like, Mr. Pooh, Mrs. Pooh, I'm sorry for duffing your son. That wasn't going to happen. That's not how that works. Not at all. Like, come on, bro. And also, who are you to go to the internet to fight your grown son's battles? Battles. Mm-hmm. Like, what is you doing, bro? Like, that's not how this works at all. Fights happen all the time in professional sports. Mm-hmm. The person that you should really be mad at <clears throat> is the person on the staff who leaked that video. Mm-hmm. That's the person who you should be mad about. Yes, it is a very embarrassing situation, but that person is the one who really embarrassed your son. Because had that video never gotten out, none of us would have known about this. Yeah. We wouldn't know anything about this. Like, just come on, bro. Misplaced anger. Misplaced anger. I know a lot of y'all are saying, Nay, you always stick up for Draymond because he's from Saginaw. And I was like, yeah, you know, we, we ride for our 989 oh, uh, boys and everything like that. We ride for our, for our guys. But in this case, he's not wrong. Because y'all know when Draymond has been wrong, yeah. I've been the first person on here to be like, hey, bro, you wrong. In this case, Anthony, you wrong. Just let it go, bro. Let it he go. He is wrong. He is wrong. And this is not your place to I, I don't I don't like when people, especially parents, feel like they need to to jump in. This is not your he's a grown athlete. He's a star. Let him do this. Let him deal with this <laughs> this himself. Apparently they already dealt with it. That's why he is no longer on the team, on the team anymore. <laughs> so let it's over and done with. You got to be a bigger man, even though he looks like a bigger man. But be the bigger man. Like, come on. I mean, and sir, let's let's be real here. Do you want the same outcome that your son met? Because your son, your son had his chest poked out too. If we can see in the video that some talking was going on, and what happened, your son got stuck as well. So yeah, sir, but he wasn't expecting it. So let's. But now Draymond's just, expecting you to walk up on him. Yeah. So what, what you think is gonna happen? Yeah. <laughs> just, just le- get out of your kids. Come on. Let your kids battle their own battles. Your son's a millionaire. Like, go chill. They're like, they're bye. fine. Yeah, they're fine. <laughs> they're completely. <fine. laughs> let's get to uh, the final hand, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, y'all? A lot of y'all hit me up like, Nate, you super chill. You know, you super laid back all the time. Brother, you gotta be on something. Well, y'all are right. I'm off them chummies edibles. And y'all know me. Y'all know I'm a smoker. I don't really mess with the eddies like that. Because let's be real. A lot of them are hit or miss. There's either no juice or you're feeling like a zombie. The good folks over there at chummies, well, they out here trying to change the edible game. And I gotta tell you, they got some phenomenal products. They sent me over uh, some of their traditional edibles, and man, them things are hitting. But they don't only got edibles. They got juice. They got uh, your gummies. They got your chocolate bars. Whatever you like, they got it. Y'all, do me a favor. Go over to their Instagram page. It's chummies underscore edibles. And get yourself some good stuff. And when you're out there, you know, filling up your cart, make sure you use that promo code 
21 Chummy. That's right. They rocking with the podcast. And because they rocking with us, they rocking with y'all. So they're going to take care of y'all by giving y'all 10% off of your first order. So again, use that promo code 21 Chummy to get 10% off your edibles. All right, y'all. Let's get back to the podcast. It's the final topic. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's amazing to me uh, for the final topic how uh, Pinky Doll has taken over the internet. Yeah, she, Boogie, has. she makes anywhere between two and three thousand dollars per stream, which she's averaged out to be about seven thousand uh, dollars per day amongst her IG and OnlyFans. <clears throat> I'm in the wrong line of work, Boogie. I am in the wrong line of work. I've been going about this social media thing all wrong. <laughs> And you know it's crazy. Um, she's inspired other people to yep. actually get into uh what is this? The uh, NPC NPC, thank you, the NPC game. Uh, I seen another uh black woman who was like, rent is due. Yep, that's to pay this oh, rent. Dude. Yeah, she's like, I am going live. She's like, I made six hundred and eighty dollars in two hours. Yep. So this is what I'm doing. I, I work four jobs and I have not made this much money in two hours at all them jobs. So if you see me online, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, popcorn, mind your damn business. <laughs> Pinky doll, if ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, she is a sex worker. She um has her own only digital fan. too. Yeah. <laughs> and she, you know, she does she does a thug thizzle. She decided to get on um TikTok and go on live and either this is a kink or a fetish, but she is making definitely both. <clears throat> yeah, she is definitely making the lay bread and have inspired other people to to do such things. So shout out to her. <laughs> um I don't know if I would do that, but I I'll try. Yeah, I might. I may. <laughs> Did you see the one video where um her son was in the background and yeah. she got caught up and yep. like and subscribe, popcorn. Put the put the, put the dog down. Like and subscribe. <laughs> it was like, yeah. what? <laughs> she's she's definitely a professional <laughs> and kudos to her. I I like I like these innovative like the these are very creative ways to not do <laughs> nothing. Uh, yeah, not work. Come on, man. Not have a nine to five. We should be working anyway. You're absolutely correct. I agree with you. But I, I love, I love this generation finding ways to make man. money and not have to do it the old, uh, the old ways. I'm not mad. I'm not at all mad at her. Um, this is truly the meaning. There is money out there. This is truly be the made. Of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, my only, my only issue is if this is adult content, yeah. should not be on TikTok. That is my only issue. Well, TikTok doesn't know that. I, hey, look, somebody has to be in charge of this. She's an adult performer on. What is an app? I know adults use the app and a lot of kids yeah. use it, but yeah. you gotta, I don't want those lines to get blurred where children find this kind because you know they're going to find it. Yeah, well, let's let's <laughs> just hope that, you know, the children's parents are putting yeah, up no. the right blockers. <laughs> There's gotta be a way that Filters. parents gotta do their thing, but also I don't care if you're on TikTok, but there's gotta be a way to shade that stuff of from course. the algorithm from younger people seeing that, but also I feel like this invokes more room for uh, pedos to run rampant. Uh, so it's it's get your bag, but it needs to be done in a way where we're protecting people. You're also protecting the sex workers. Yeah. Digital toots. You're protecting them. Because I feel like this is going to be overly saturated. What she's done is yeah. been as innovative, but now other people are going to start doing it too. And it's like, dang. Like that big bag that she had, she's gonna have to pivot. 
I mean, it's, it's that, gonna be yeah. That goes without saying. She she because she's definitely um the first to yeah. really do this. <laughs> the first I'm the original. Really do, I'm the innovator. right. <laughs> the original. Obviously, the money's going to change because more people are going to come up and do that. So she'll I, find a way. It is. You are starting to see the weirdos. Timberland got caught up on there. Another famous producer. And I'm like, y'all are just, y'all are weird. Like, I don't want to yuck anyone's yum. But when you start to see grown ass men, because she's, she's young in her 20s. When you start to see people who are like, bro, you you like damn near 50. What are you doing? Like, ugh. I mean, Temple is single now, so There's, I start to look at people and I'm like, bro, you look you down there in that in that weird range when you start looking at these very weird these these older men, you start hearing these stories about people and you're just like like this is sick. <laughs> like, I'm again, I'm not mad at her. But I am mad the people who are, who are subscribing. I just be looking at y'all like, God damn, like what is going on? Like this is where we got in reality in the world where people sit on their computer, yeah, paying for emo- you're paying to send this girl emojis, yeah. I'm paying you twenty dollars to send you a cherry emoji, or I- I'm just like, what are we doing? But also, how come I didn't come up with this? <laughs> Just be like God. I'm sitting here waiting for a multi million dollar idea. How come you don't bestow these upon me? You just gotta try. You just gotta keep trying out and doing stuff. You see her. <laughs> I'd be like, "What's the app for Bald Brothers?" Like, come on, give me something, God. I'll sit on here and hoard myself out on the internet for seven thousand uh, dollars a day. I'll do it. <laughs> yum, yum, <laughs> yum. Rub my head, rub my head. <laughs> it's shiny. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta figure something out. I gotta figure something out. I'm trying to figure it out. Cooking with bald niggas, something. I'm trying to figure. Bald's gonna be whatever it, I do. It can't be that. Be. It, it can't be that complicated. You have to be. You have You're to simplify. Right. I can never say simplify. <laughs> it's going. It's got to be the dumbest thing. Yeah. People are gonna be. Like, huh. I like that. I, you know what? I got it. I got it. I'm going to make ASMR videos. Of just putting lotion on my head. It's just gonna be like, yeah. Hello, guys. Today uh, we're using some Nivea. You need to be Let's... whispering. You oh, not even right. whisper. You're right. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, today uh, we've we've got Nivea. We're gonna we're gonna try this. Try this out here. You should, and you should also <laughs> like when you shave your head. That should be an ASMR as well. Oh yeah, you're right. Show the the. Yeah, you're right. Boogie, I'm cutting in 20%. I'm cutting in go. on this. We're about to do this. Bald ASMR coming to a YouTube near, near you. Near you. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, man. I'm about to run them numbers up. I don't know. I'm a dude, though. So it's, it's you know, although people like the ASMR. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Women just, this Not is the, the only thing. This is the only thing women just have the. <laughs> the upper it's, hand it's not quite the same i'll be like i'm camming for hours i haven't made anything <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like hey bro i'll give you 20 dollars to get off the camp <laughs> <laughs> it's like i'll take it <laughs> well we are coming to the portion of the show where you might want to you know spark up a little blunt it's time for nothing one facts you might be like hey this is one of those uh, those facts where you're like, ah, it's got the blunt flowing. Or you might be like, hey, Nate, that was a gut punch. That was very blunt. Nothing blunt facts. <clears throat> Let's get to it, Boogie. Uh, did you know that despite being called killer whales, orcas are not even whales at all. They're actually a member of the dolphin family. Not even whales. Not even whales. You know why they call them killer whales, Boogie? It's because they black. That's what it is. It's because they black. That's what it is. It's because they black. And they got to associate with them being killers and being the thugs of the ocean by calling them black. By calling them killer. That's what it is. <laughs> calling them killer whales. <laughs> this <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> oh, I was trying gosh. to hold it. <laughs> I was trying to hold it together. I was trying to hold it together. Oh God! But killer whales are not whales; <laughs> they are dolphins. <laughs> Do can't. what you will with that fact. <laughs> They keep getting better every week, Boogie. They keep getting... I think this is what people tune in for. They tune in for the blunt fact to see how blunt it really is. Yeah, that's what Like, subscribe on all your podcast platforms. Shout out to the day ones. We appreciate you guys for tuning in. Boogie! What you got for the peoples? As always, please, please... Please, if you're out there in the TV land and the YouTube streets, <laughs> <laughs> no, no seriously, do that all the time. Hello, yeah. out there, TV land. Right. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> boys and girls. No, seriously uh, though, no, go ahead and smash that bell so you can get all of our content as soon as it drops. You get the notifications when it drops, so you know you're readily available. It's readily available for you, so you can watch it, listen to it, really commenting on it. Tell a friend. Share it with a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to tell a friend that this is your favorite podcast. We're trying to get to 100, man. 100 subscribers on YouTube. Before yeah. the end of the year, we're at 67. We're doing well on yeah. SoundCloud. SoundCloud, you're holding us down. Come on, yeah. Apple. Let's, let's get together on Apple. Let's get together on Google. Let's we're on, all the, we're on Spotify. We're on every podcast platform. And you, yep. come on, y'all. We're talking about this. Hit the mic. Yep. I ain't got nothing else for y'all. Once again, like and subscribe. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> and I'm Major Brandy Bird. Bye, y'all. Yeah.